the Lambda API is the front door to Lambda. It's an API provided by the Lambda service, which is used by all clients and services that invoke Lambda functions. These include CLI and SDK calls, as well as services that invoke your function in response to events. This is the only way to invoke a Lambda function. You can't SSH into a function or invoke it via any other path. For another AWS service to invoke your function directly, you create what is called an event trigger. This is a resource you configure allowing another AWS service to invoke your function when certain events or conditions occur. Your function can have multiple triggers and each trigger acts as a client invoking your function independently, passing only its event to your function to process it. When you invoke a function, you can choose to invoke it synchronously or asynchronously. You can pass any event payload structure, making it extremely flexible. When you invoke a function synchronously, either directly using the SDK or Lambda function URLs, or through a service like API Gateway, Lambda sends the request to the Lambda function, which runs your code and waits for a response. When the function completes, Lambda returns the response to the client caller, also adding some additional data, such as the version of the function that was invoked. When you invoke a function using the console, this is a synchronous invoke. You can see the function response in the console output. With this model, there are no built-in retries. You manage your retry strategy within your application code as the caller. Lambda also supports asynchronous invocations. Several AWS services, such as S3, EventBridge, or SNS, invoke functions asynchronously to process events. When you invoke a function asynchronously, you don't wait for a response from the function code. You hand off the event to Lambda, and Lambda handles the rest. It places the event in an internal event queue and returns a success response to the caller saying, I've received your event. A separate process then reads events from the internal queue and sends them to your function. There's no direct return path to the calling service. Lambda manages the function's asynchronous event queue and attempts a number of retries which you can configure. You can configure how Lambda handles errors and send invocation records to a downstream resource such as another Lambda function, SQSQ, SNS topic, or event bridge event bus. Lambda also supports another invoke model, which is polling. An event source mapping is a Lambda resource that reads items in a source batch from a stream, such as Kinesis or DynamoDB, or from a queue like SQS. A producer application would have placed items on the queue or stream asynchronously. Lambda manages the pollers as part of the service and reads the messages. It can optionally filter and batch them, and then sends them onto your function synchronously for processing.